I've had many requests on how I take awesome pictures of gerbils using a light box. So first of all, what is a light box? Um, you can get them in different sizes. Uh, this one I believe is 14 by 14. I believe the brand is Trevor. Um, yeah, Traver. And uh, it basically is just a box that has like aluminum on the side and it has like lights on the top. And basically this area right here is kind of like the sweet spot. So the gerbils have to be in this area um, because we don't want to see the sides. Um, yeah, the sides, we're getting some reflection, but the sides are actually this aluminum kind of stuff. This is it without any um, of the um, basic plastic colors inside of it. Um, by far the best color to work with is white. Um, and you can see, there's just little tabs up here to put it in. So you put it in the top and the bottom. The sides are still gonna be the um, aluminum color. And then you have these um, kind of uh, bars on the side as well. And one feature that's really nice about the light box is that you can really set this at any height you want. So it's really a self-contained area where the gerbils can run around, but they can't escape and you can take your pictures. So I'm just um, washing this out with hand sanitizer. You can find that on the shelves. It, you really just have to make sure that you sanitize it so it's clean. It doesn't have the smell of the other gerbils. I do it right after I finish the shoot, but and then I do it before the shoot too. So the reason that the white is so great is that there's really no light reflecting off of it and it provides good contrast. So I'm gonna um, have some gerbils, some babies, Sky and um, Ariel are gonna help me today and their mom dots. So the easiest thing to do is one gerbil on a white background. So we'll start with her. This is little Ariel. So basically, as you can see, we don't want the sides to be in the picture. So this area right here is really the sweet spot. So that's where we want the gerbil to be. We're just going to let her run around for a little bit. Um, they were like her run around and they poop and they pee. So I've got my little hand sanitizer napkin all ready for that. And then when they go into the area, you just snap the picture. Oh, there's a poop. And you can also um, kind of guide them to the area. So just kind of guide them there and then tell them they're good. Like, oh, that's good. That's it. That's it. They will listen to you. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Money shot. Great. Oh, that's cute. Okay, up again. Up, up, up. Oh, good girl. Thank you. Another cute thing to do is to give them like a Cheerio and see if they'll eat the Cheerio. Um, that's a really fun and nice prop. Alright, so for my next challenge, I'm going to add a prop. And you can just add like a simple prop um, to begin with. And then later you can maybe do more elaborate props with stories. So again, you know, the easiest, the second easiest thing will be one gerbil, one prop. So I'm going to um, put the prop in. And don't worry that you can see the sides of the light box because you can just crop that out. See, that's a cute picture. Oh, so cute. So cute. And the nice thing about gerbils is that they're very curious. So a lot of times they'll want to go over, they'll like sniff the flower and think about what it is. Like if it's a flower, you're going to want them to like be sniffing it. Oh, 
And let's see if Ariel will go into the picture as well. The next challenge will be um, to do a shoot with two journals. So I added in her sister Sky, and uh, we'll let them run around a little bit and do their poops. And then you can kind of guide them to the place where you want them to be. Yeah, oh, there we go. Good ones. Good ones. You can even kind of clicker train them by either clicking or using a clicker to show um, when they're when they do what you want. Oh, that's cute. That's it. Money shot. Nice. Nice. Another thing you can do as well. Also, if they start cleaning themselves, you can make a little movie of that, which is super cute. So another thing you can do too, is you can kind of put them in a constrained spot. So here I'm going to actually hold the two of them in my hand, or you could put them in a box or like a dust bath. And, um, yeah, that girl. It's okay. Relax. Relax. Good ones. Good ones. And then you could take a picture of them sitting in your hand. So now we're going to put all the pieces together and we're going to do a um, multiple um, gerbils with a prop. So the prop that we're using right here is going to be a crib. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the two baby gerbils and then I'm going to just keep putting them back into the crib and telling them to stay in the crib until they get tired of me continually putting them in and they'll just hang out in the crib. Um, so let's do that first. So now you can see the gerbils are inside of the, the um, crib and um, you know if they try to get out I just kind of guide them back in and it really only took a few times of putting them in before they just kind of said okay we're supposed to stay in the crib crazy lady just keeps pushing us back if we try to come out and very gently I mean, like you're not hurting them or anything and you give them a lot of praise oh my god you're so cute what a cute picture that will be kind of push them back and then you might want to just take a few pictures of just the babies oh you might want to take just a, a few pictures of just the babies in the crib and then um, and then once they're in there we can introduce mom and once we get mom in there she's definitely going to want to go over to the babies and see the babies oh you're so cute So now that the babies are all settled in the crib, we're going to introduce mom and she probably will go over and see the babies and when she goes over to see them or peeks in, then that's going to be like the perfect picture and uh, <laughs> one of the babies is having a nice bath in the crib and then we're looking at mom and we can even just kind of like push mom over, kind of encourage her to get see that would be the perfect picture. So we'll snap some of those pictures and if the baby goes back, we tell her, no, no, go in the crib, go in the crib, little baby, right there. And then, of course, since mom is just starting to run around, there might be some poops. So we have to go take care of those as well. Here we get the poops. Here we get the poops. And then uh, put the baby back in the crib. And you can go in with your sister. Back in the crib, back in the crib. Oh, good mama. Uh oh, no, no, 
back into crab, back into crab. Just keep encouraging them. You know, you're not hurting them, you're just kind of guiding them. And then when mama looks, there's the good picture. Go babies. Oh, go see your babies. Oh, how cute is that? The photo shoot is tiring for your, your little gerbil models, so make sure to thank them profusely. You guys did so good, little Ariel and little Sky, And then give them lots of treats and a paper towel tube to chew on. And give them unscented toilet tissue so that they can make a big nest and take a long nap. Thank you, girls.